Hello, and welcome, to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn, the attach procedure. The UE, makes an attach procedure, in order to register, to the network. During attach procedure, the UE will need, to identify itself, to the network. The main identifier name, for the UE, is called, the, IMC. When the UE, makes an attach procedure, for the first time, it will send, its, IMC, to the network, to identify itself. At the end of the attach procedure, the network will send, a temporary identifier, to the UE. This temporary identifier, is called, the, PTMC. In the future, when the UE makes an attach procedure to the network, the UE will send, its, PTMC, to the network, as its identifier, instead of, its, IMC. This is because, from security perspective, the UE, shouldn't frequently send, its, IMC, to the network. Now, let's take a look, on how the attach procedure occurs. This diagram, shows the signaling, of the attach procedure. After this procedure, a table called, the MM context, will be created, on the UE, and the SGSN. The UE, and the SGSN, will store the information of this session, in this MM context. MM context, refers to, mobility management context. Now, let's start the procedure. Let's assume that, this is the first time, the UE, attaches to the network. First, the UE, sends attach request, to the SGSN. Because this is the first time, the UE attaches to the network, the UE, is still not having, PTMC, assigned to it. Therefore, it will identify itself, in this message, by sending the IMC. Second, authentication procedure occurs, between the SGSN, and the UE along with, the HLR. During this step, the SGSN, will retrieve authentication related parameters, from the HLR. Those parameters will be used, in the authentication, between the SGSN, and the UE. Then the SGSN, sends update location, to the HLR. In this message, the SGSN, sends its own address, to the HLR. This is done, because the HLR, should always know, which SGSN, is currently serving the UE. Then the HLR, returns insert subscriber data, to the SGSN, in this message, the HLR, sends the subscription information, of the UE, to the SGSN. And the SGSN, will store this UE subscription information, in its MM context. Then the SGSN replies the HLR, by sending, insert subscriber data acknowledge. And the HLR, replies the SGSN, by sending update location acknowledge. After that, the SGSN, assigns a PTMC, for the UE, and sends attach accept, to the UE, including the PTMC, assigned to it. Finally, the UE, stores this PTMC, in its MM context, and replies with, attach complete. In summary, after the attach procedure succeeds, the following, should be accomplished. MM context, is established, on the UE, and the SGSN. Authentication occurred, between the SGSN, and the UE. The UE received its PTMC, and stored it, in its MM context. The SGSN, retrieved the subscription information, of the UE, from the HLR. The HLR, knows which SGSN, is currently serving the UE. Thank you, and see you, in the next lesson.